Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Trends Tech. And today, we're talking about the updates to Vision OS 2, aka 2.2. I'm going to tell you guys right now, there's not really a whole lot in this update, but I'll just go ahead and cover some stuff. So, I will go ahead and screen record this. That way, you guys can see this from my point of view, and this will all kind of make a little bit more sense. Now, the first thing that we're going to talk about here is... Let's talk about these environments here. So Apple basically came out in their release notes and said that you can, quote unquote, remove these environments. Uh, I hate to spoil it to you, but you really can't actually remove them. What you can do is you can look at an environment, you can long press on it, and it's basically going to give you these options here. So I can remove Yosemite, Hal Hal Halakala, however you say that, Joshua Tree, the moon, and Mount Hood in Summerlight. That's it. Everything else is like either stuck or I don't get it. Like, why can you only remove some environments and other ones you can't? Let me show you how this works. So if we go ahead to go to Summerlight, which I really don't care too much about, let's go ahead and get rid of it. So basically it's supposed to be gone, but it's still there. So spring light is still there. I tried get rid of it, getting rid of it. Uh, it's still there. Summer light is still there. I tried getting rid of it. It's still there. I can still see it. So you're really not getting rid of it because all you have to do is just accidentally click on one of these, you know, with the touch interface controls or whatever, and it should start coming right back. So let's go ahead and look at this. Oh, hey, look, it's downloading right back. Did, did we did we really even get rid of it? Like Apple, what are we doing here? So, uh, yes, technically... You're supposed to be able to get rid of these, but they're they're not really gone. All all it takes is for you to accidentally click on one of these, and then it's just going to come right back. The other update that came out in the release notes is the fact that before with compatible apps, these were your apps that were basically your iPhone and iPad apps that work on the Vision Pro, but they were basically put into this folder. So, you know, you got X and all this other stuff here. And you couldn't move these to the home screen. So what you can do now is you can actually take one of these apps and move it to the home screen if you wanted to. So let's just go ahead and take Prime Video. We're going to long press on it. And then we're going to click on Add to Home View. And then it's going to take it all the way to the end. And it's automatically going to add it there all the way at the end. Now, if you want to move it to the front, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to long press, you know, hold it, and then move this over and just keep on going all the way over, all the way over, and then kind of play musical chairs of where you want this to go. Uh, what we did learn about in the previous update was that you could move stuff anywhere you wanted to, whereas before everything was kind of stuck in place, but now you can take your quote unquote compatible apps and put them on the home screen. So once again, it's a very small update, but it's kind of a little bit better than the way it was before. We did get an update to where game controllers can now interface with the UI itself or anything that's supported with that. So basically what you can do now is I have the NBA draft up on the screen as the NBA draft is going on right now. Now, normally what I would have to do is I would have to use my hands to kind of like grab this and move this around and manipulate it how I would want to. But now that I have a game controller, wherever I look, I can just press a button and basically just the main button here and I can click on something and I can move this stuff around. I can also use the analog stick right here to scroll up and down through this web page. So let's go ahead and test this out. So let's move this a little further back. And right now I'm looking down at the corner. I'm holding this down on the controller and I am going to readjust this. So this may make life a little bit easier, especially for those of you who like, you know, video games and stuff like that, or let's say you don't want to constantly be looking around doing this the whole time or whatever, right? You can literally just have this controller right here, hold on to it. This is a PS5 controller. It charges via USB-C, so that kind of ties in with the whole USB-C thing. And the battery is also built in. But if we look at this web page, I can easily just take this analog stick and I can just scroll down at a nice, easy pace and I could just like slowly do it and still read at the same time instead of once again, just constantly having to do this or whatever. This actually gives you like way more control over stuff. And the one thing about it is, is as long as you kind of learn how to like manipulate this a little bit, you can get a little bit better. Like I said, with just moving stuff around and you know, all you have to do is look with your eyes. And then once you lock it down and hold it down with the button, 
it becomes real easy just to move around. So the other thing you can do, and I think this is just really dope, is if, if you're looking at the bottom, and let's say you got this little you know bar that lights up here, if you click on that, like you look at it and you click on it, you got your, your controller here, you can go ahead and move this thing up and you can be very precise where you put your windows. All right, so now we have two windows. So what I can do here is as I'm looking around, I can easily just take the controller and move this stuff down and easily place it a little bit better. I can adjust things here. I can scroll a lot easier and decide I what I wanna choose and click on and watch. And honestly, this just makes life a lot easier for me. So, all right, so let's go over here and let's move that over there. And I already know somebody in the comment section is like, oh, hey, you know, thought you guys didn't need controllers. I, I get it. Like, it's, you know, it's kind of a, you know, funny thing to laugh at. But now I feel like I can, I can multitask a little bit easier having just a controller with this stuff built in. Using my eyes, using the controller to move this stuff around and then manipulate it and put it exactly where I want to and have it orientate a little bit better than just kind of just grabbing stuff and trying to do all this, you know, and, and find the same spot because pretty much as long as you have the window where they set, if you move it around, it's not really going to get closer. It's just going to move around that same plane. So I know that might help people out a little bit better, but honestly, as far as the updates, that's really about it. You have a couple of little small tweaks here and there, but there's no other, you know, major features that have come out. We're still waiting on like that whole big, you know, ultra wide display. Like I really can't wait to mess with that, but that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.